By the time August Wilson came under fire, Mark Twain's Huckleberry Finn had been in the news for several weeks. Following the publication of a new edition of the novel that presented the black character who previously had been called Nigger Jim as Slave Jim. The editor obviously convinced that was an improvement, although I can't imagine why. <laughs> why is it better to be called a slave than to be called a nigger? Nigger is a word used by some to insult and belittle. Slave is a status, a condition under the law that denies one group of human beings the rights and privileges according to free people. Besides, when we meet Jim, he has already escaped from slavery and is therefore a free man, exercising his freedom by heading north as fast as he can figure out how to read the stars and get there. Why then is describing this character as what his former owner called him an improvement over showing what an evil man like Huck's drunken fool of a father called other human beings? Walt Whitman said the dirtiest book of all is the expurgated book. When I read that story about Mr. Sneed's attempts to close Joe Turner, several things jumped out at me immediately. First thought, August Wilson won two Pulitzer Prizes for American drama, and this guy wants to rewrite the play? <laughs> Second thought, this guy is black? <laughs> the idea that anyone would have the temerity to rewrite August Wilson's work was outrageous, but the fact that the attempted censor was a black man from Detroit with a PhD was inconceivable. Did he really believe what he was saying? Had he no more understanding of culture generally and his own African-American culture specifically? 